y'all. So this isn't really a craft video. I just wanted to talk a little bit about colorants for your resin. Now, in my previous resin video, I got a lot of questions in my inbox on Facebook. And some of them were some very good questions. Um, someone had asked, can I use alcohol ink in resin? Yeah, you can. They sell alcohol ink, you know, for resin. A lot of, you know, resin manufacturers, mold manufacturers sell alcohol ink to use along with it. Now, alcohol ink and resin dye, those are two totally different things. And here in a minute, I'm going to mix up some resin and I'm, I'm going to give you an example so that you can see for yourself just how different they are. But in this box here, this is resin dye. Okay, as you can see here, it has separated. This is very liquidy and this is very thick and opaque and you shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it up and mix it all together. The dye, like I said, it's very thick. It's very opaque, and when you have your resin in your mold or your container, whatever, and you drop a drop of this in there, it's going to stay in a ball. This is going to stay a glob until you stir it up, okay? Now, with alcohol ink, very liquidy, <laughs> very, very liquidy, and when you drop it into the resin, it's going to disperse really easily, um, the colors are not as vibrant as the dye, but, you know, you, you can mix them and add in some white and make it brighter. I'm going to show you that here in a minute. But very, very thin, disperses really easily. The dye, when you drop it in, it's just going to stay in a blob. Now, of course, both of these are from Let's Resin. They're my one of my favorite, favorite, favorite resin mold companies, and I buy a lot of my dyes and such from them. I was out of a lot of my alcohol ink, so I did have to wait to order a new box before I could do this sort of video. If you can hear that, I don't know if you can hear it. <laughs> yes, it's almost like water. Um, lots of different colors in this set and if you click on the description box or look down in the comments i'll pin a link to my amazon shop where you can buy all this wonderful stuff but the alcohol ink very translucent okay and when you drop the alcohol ink into your resin like i said it's going to disperse and it'll just kind of float around now what you can do to get some depth and some different designs using alcohol ink is, let's see, both of those are normal. Where's my other one? Yeah, I think I've got my other one in another box over here. But anyway, when you get this alcohol ink, you're going to get a few bottles of this ink. It says white, deeper on it. You see this one, white, it says normal. Now, the one that says deeper is a little bit more opaque and it is thicker and heavier than the regular alcohol ink. So if you have your resin, you can drop your alcohol ink in it and then take your white that says deeper, drop that on top of it, and instead of the ink just floating around in your resin, this deeper one is gonna weigh it down and push it down into your project to give you depth and to make the color a little bit brighter. So let me put this away and I'm going to mix up two little containers of resin so that you can see what I'm talking about with the differences between the two. Okay, so I did a crap job of mixing up this little bit of resin, but it's okay because I'm not gonna use this for anything. I'm just using this to show you, you know, the dyes. So this is the actual dye right here, the actual dye. So if you can see in this little cup of resin, I'm just gonna put a drop of dye you see how it just sits there and it's going to sit there until you stir it up so you know let's give that a stir can you see how vibrant that is at least it's vibrant in person probably doesn't look too vibrant on camera but you know you can you can get a pretty good idea of what i'm talking about now let's put the lid on for i make a mess which i have been known to do now, that is a lot thicker than the alcohol ink, so when you are using this, and y'all know I hate gloves, <laughs> just try to be careful that you don't get it all over you. Sometimes it'll splatter everywhere. Just be careful when you're taking off the lid so that it don't splatter. Now, when I store my alcohol ink, I try to keep it in the box so that they're all sitting upright, and then I put that box inside of like a big freezer Ziploc bag, you know, just in case something leaks. So if you can see here, and now I'm going to drop it in. See how it spreads? 
I'm gonna put one more drop. Okay, I'm gonna set that down. Let's put the lid on it. Cause I have been known to spray this all over the floor. <laughs> So now we're going to go in with the white and the, the deeper white. And you know what? I didn't shake it up. My bad. But you see how this is spreading already? It has just, just spread. And I know that you can't see from the side, really. But it's just floating there on top. But now you can take... Oh, this stuff stinks. It smells like alcohol, of course. <laughs> now you can take it and put a drop. And you see how it just brightened it right up and that white kind of sinks a little bit you can see from the side it's actually pushing the ink down further into the resin like that so that's how that works and then you know i've seen people you know they layer colors and however you want to do it but yeah that white just kind of splattered on my, my camera cut off yeah that's the main difference between the two um these like I showed you, just put it in, you have to stir it up. These disperse and you can have some beautiful watercolor effects, you know, using the alcohol inks. So someone asked me to do a project using alcohol ink. So let me get this video here posted. And then my next resin video will be using the alcohol inks. So anyway, I hope that this was useful. I hope it helps somebody out. If you would, give it a thumbs up. Click subscribe. Check me out on other forms of social media. The links to all of which will be in the description box down below. And I hope to see you all next time. Bye!